Hello there everybody. This video is about the best crab I have ever prepped. Uh, took me 28 years to find that crab, uh, but it, I could say it was well worth it. Had a lot of fun getting there. Anyways, actually let me get my notes here. There's going to be a few other things with, with this video. But uh, I started prepping back in 1991 and fossil hunting and stuff. Don't need that one. Uh, back when uh, crab concretions were quite easy to get. Now it's everything's no trespassing. Uh, it's just they're hard to get. And even then, when it was easy to get, some guys were just starting to get into it. They turned it into hard rock mining because they would just go from all the little the easy stuff and then start actually prying the rock apart to get to the concretions. And that's about the time I quit or almost quit. Um, I probably found thousands of concretions back in the day. Um, it was nothing to come home with 150 crab concretions. It, it was nothing. Uh, one one trip, I think in Oregon, I came home with I think 327, 328 crab concretions. They were small concretions, mind you, and most of them weren't worth a crap. But uh, you had to go through a lot to get to the good stuff. Um, and also back in the day, um, I could start a prep day at 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning and sit there and prep and maybe have a snack or two uh, till 10 or 11 p.m. It's, I had that kind of endurance. Now it's <laughs> it's about two, two to four hours, three average. Uh, I don't have the, the, the power of concentration I used to have and so a couple of hours of doing something, some small fin or something on a, on a fish and my eyes start getting watery and tired. Um, and also I've never mentioned this before, but about six years ago, um, I had an aneurysm, so it really messed me up. It messed me up really good. Uh, the left side of my body, even though it's better, is, is, is it doesn't work very well. And after I learned how to walk and how to hold a coffee cup and all that crap, um, I took my little walker thing, made my way out to the garage, and started prepping a crab. And I held on to that crab concretion for three hours with this hand that doesn't work very good. I didn't realize it when I was squeezing the crap out of that, that rock as I was prepping it. And I, I was sore for three days. Even though this was numb, uh, the doctors explained to me how I could feel pain. I still don't understand how it's possible, but yeah, it hurt. Uh, so for three days, it hurt. <laughs> Eventually, I learned how to, how to hold on to things without it hurting. Uh, anyways, so that's that. Yeah, still screwed up. Um, I'm going to start this video with some pictures of crab concretions I found in the past, maybe some crab preparation type stuff I've done in the past, and then get on to the actual video, which is only about three minutes long and shows the best crab I have ever prepped. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this video. Here are a few pics of just some of the crab concretions that I used to bring home back in the day when the pickings were good. Once home from my crab ball trips, some I would cut, some I'd break open, and some of those needed some uh, gluing and clamping. Here are some crab concretions in the middle of being prepped. I always started several at the same time because I always ran into problems with them and didn't want to stop prepping so I'd have another one to prep. Here is a picture of some of the crabs I have kept. This is probably about 20% or so of what I call my keeper crabs. Right here is my best crab I have ever done 
in my opinion. Um, very large crab concretion. Uh, these are all from Washington. Every one of these crabs in here are Palaulius vulgaris. They're all Eocene in age. I think so anyways. Uh, these are all from different sites. Um, I lost every picture of prepping this so I can't really do a video of how I went about prepping it. But you can see these, uh, oh man that's heavy. You can see how I glued it back together. The top part was in many pieces. But uh, these bottom ones here are crab concretions. Um, to show you roughly the average size. They come in all sizes but this is probably the largest easily that I've ever done. You can see here um, this spot where I I read this crab concretion wrong. It went down this way and realized I had hit and ran into uh, ventral. So I turned it around and prepped the other side. And it's not a very good crab, but it's it, you can definitely see it's a crab. Uh, my wife found this in the, my glove box of my truck just the other day. It's been sitting there for I don't know how many years, but uh, not a very good crab. At least it was not going in the collection, anyways. Um, here's one again. I put back together even quickly did a little patch job because there's a little canyon there but uh, a nice crab beautiful crab beautiful color and some tippy tippies gotta love those tippy tippies it's not perfect it's hard to find a perfect crab it's almost impossible at least in Washington but uh, there's a cool one <clears throat> here's a uh, one of the larger ones, it used to be one of the larger ones, and again you can see where I had to put it back together, but this one turned out pretty nice. It's, it's a claw kisser, meaning the claws are right up to the face of the crab uh, with, the, with the bottom pincers actually going underneath, but look at the tippy tippies. Freaking gorgeous, that tippy tippy broke off right there. They're still pretty cool. That's definitely a good crab. I mean, it's got everything you want. It's got the, both arms, both pincers, or the pincers. A lot of leg, uh, all eight of them. One, two, three. Oh, there it is. This one is stacked underneath this one right here, but you can see that tippy tippy coming out from underneath this leg here. Really cool crab. Super cool. And then this one, got even dated it. RB 2018, so not too long ago, but you can see it's got tippy tippies. What's left of a tippy tippy? What's left of a tippy tippy? And I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a. Let me get some better light here. You can see that tippy tippy coming right there. So there's a leg coming underneath this arm and coming out here, and there's a leg coming out here with the tippy tippy. So one, two, three, four. It's got five tippy tippies. Gotta love that. I knew I knew when I started to find tippy tippies, it's pretty much gonna go in the collection. And then the best crab ever. Got this from my best friend. Um, sat in his closet for 10 or 12, 15 years. I don't know how long it sat in his closet. He brought the pieces one day and sold it to me. God, I was excited. Wish I could oh, I wish I made a video of this. But this crab is one of these, same species, same genus, all that kind of stuff get a load of this freaking beauty holy cow I'm still in awe of it all eight legs four on this side four on this side all eight tippy tippies unfreaking believable took me it took me about 30 took me about 28 years to get a crab with all eight legs all tippy tippies and look at this outreachers that's what I call them anyways when the claws are reaching out. What the hell is that? I mean, heck is that? Oh, I just cleaned it with the tissue paper. It's got some tissue stuck onto it. But it's got everything. It's got everything. This is beautiful. Even the eye stalks. Eye stalk here. Eye stalk here. Beautiful rear end. Ah, oh, just an excellent crab. Excellent crab. But you can see here, there's a line there. That's where it bro was broken into a piece. There's a line here, very good fit. There's a line here, a line here, 
a line here. This was in one, two, three, four. This was in five pieces. Anyways, how's that for a crab? First guy with 50 bucks, it's theirs. Yeah, right. <laughs> I shouldn't be teasing that. That's kind of mean. All right, there you go, folks. Beautiful grab.